sex snack for life is too short to be serious. And guess what? Michael's favorite soda in the world is in this whoa, video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not favorite. Not like favorite. Apple was not your favorite flavored soda? No, I don't think it was my favorite. What's your favorite flavored it's, soda? It's still white out. White out. Well, then we'll have to say it again in the white out video. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, we just back This is Casey's pre exclusive Mountain Dew era, unfortunately. I went to Tennessee to get the hard Mountain Dew because it's. It was going to take two more months before it came out nationwide. We got a review coming up for that too. And so I went to Casey's and got apple, green apple soda. I was looking to see if they had a knockoff Mountain Dew, which I feel like they probably don't, especially if they're doing an exclusive Mountain Dew. Of course, Food Lion has an exclusive Mountain Dew. They have a knockoff. But, you know, they're doing an exclusive Mountain Dew coming soon. It's like a tropical punch. I really want to get it so bad. Really I'm tempted good. to just make another road trip to Tennessee. Just say, screw it. But, yeah, you know, there's not as many Casey's there as if you go farther out west. So I'm just like, what do I do here? But, yeah, they got a new exclusive Mountain Dew coming there. So I'm just sitting here. I'll probably buy it on eBay. That's what I'm thinking. Um, but that's the side from the point. So, ooh, limited edition. That is something that, that did not catch my eye until we were doing this video. That's pretty cool. So, if you have a Casey's near you, maybe you need to kind of listen up. Get ready, because this can tell you a lot of things. Especially if you don't have a Kroger-owned store around um, and can't get thrashed apple. Well, we'll find out if it's worth it. Yeah. So, we'll find out for you if you should actually be getting this. But, you're saying that you haven't been able to find Thrash Apple at Harris Teeter? Because I've, I've heard... Kroger. Well, no. Kroger owns Harris Teeter, though. Can you get Thrash Apple at Harris Teeter? Apparently. Because there's a Harris Teeter down the road. I'll probably check for you, then. I'll, I'll, I'll have my eyes out for you. If that's the case, then life just got way better. <laughs> so, apparently, they've started to spread out the Harris Teeter. So, I, I can't guarantee it, but I can check for you and let you know. But, yeah, so apparently, you know, most Kroger-owned stores have thrashed apple, but if you don't have that and you have a Casey's, well, we're here to tell you all about it. Now, this has a different color to it. It's a darker, more artificial-looking green, but doesn't mean it's going to taste any different or any worse. So, let's go ahead and pose for this thumbnail. Move the camera a little bit closer, if you would. Yep, and a little bit more. We're there struggling. We go. <laughs> All right. A bit of a struggle on that one. Yeah, but you know who wins the battle of the design here? That's pretty apple. easy. Thrash Apple with all them Apple Demon rock stars. And they go all out. With and, and then, you know, Casey's is pretty cool. It's got the Casey's logo and then the rooster on there. Cock a doo doo. But, uh, yeah, so we're. What do you want to try for? You want to try this first? Yeah. Or do you want to. Yeah, let's try. Yeah, let's go with Casey's first. I don't have no ice. You got ice. Fine. <laughs> Ooh. That's got a very strong... Ooh. Oh, I can smell that from here. Very strong smell. It smells just like the thrashed apple, I think. Mm-hmm. But does it taste like it? We're going to figure it out. out. Please subscribe. Thank you. Tastes pretty good. I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, when I say tanger, I kind of mean like maybe a little bit more sourness, like a granny sniff apple, like mm -hmm. a green apple. Yeah, definitely. But it's pretty close. I'd say they are really close to what thrashed apple tastes like. I think it feels more real. And like I, I don't consider this, but you know, do all do do flavors? Do they all kind of have like a hint of that citrus flavor of a do, or do some of them? Do they replace that entirely? I don't really ever. I can't really ever get a touch up on whether it's in there all the time or if they replace it. Mm -hmm. So 
we'll have to kind of think about that when we're trying it again. Yeah, definitely. I don't know if they do that. But yeah, that that's kind of diddly. That's that's spot on. No, that's really good. And I'll bet you it's it's very close when we try this yeah. again. I, I I think I do like thrashed apple a bit more. So I'm gonna give room to have that have a higher rating. But I'll give it eight and a half. Eight and a half works for me. Yeah, I'd give it eight. Um, now I think about ice. Yeah, well, because yeah. <laughs> I'll get you more ice. I'll keep y'all entertained. <laughs> so, Casey's. They got like 2,300 stores out there. Mostly Midwest. If you have a Casey's near you, and you don't mind se sending me a Mountain Dew, or two Mountain Dews, that's, I forget... Uh, what's, what's Overdrive? It's called Overdrive. It's coming out like April, uh, like May. Mountain Dew Overdrive. It's like a bright red. If you send me a couple, just I'll give you my shipping address. I'll pay for the Dew and the shipping. Just send it. Just be a little easier on you. There's 2,300 locations, and I know there's thousands of you out there. So if, if you'll help me out and him out, because we both want to try it. Always. Always. And then Circle K's also got a plum berry flavor that's like dark purple color. So Do you know when that nice job. <laughs> Do you know when that's coming? June. June, okay. So I'll have my eye out on that. We don't really have any Circle K's anymore. So Circle K is also called the Kangaroo. Um same place. But kangaroo seems to be a lot more junkier, like it's trashy. So I don't know if I'll see it at the kangaroo, but I know where a bunch of Circle K's are, Harrisonburg, Richmond, so I'll have to keep my eye out. But you know, the Casey's has a nicer color to it. Yeah, because this is this. very light. Mm -hmm. Very sweet smelling though. They are really close. They're very similar. Hmm. I don't know, I'm not finding myself loving it like I did last time. I still do. I think it's a little bit better than the Casey's, but it kind of does have that like signature Mountain Dew taste to it, you know? So I think for most Mountain Dews, they just keep the Dew Citrus. So if you really want to focus on green apple, you might want to do this. If you like Mountain Dew and you want apple flavored Mountain Dew, you can go for that one. I need another sip to rem remind myself of why I would actually say this is better than Casey's. Because I know I'm going to get it there at some point. So let me just get this sip. Okay, there it is. Yep, there it is. Yeah, it's a nine. I, I know you probably think higher of it. Probably, yeah. Probably like nine and a half or ten. But, There's a few up there. A few up in the ten. But I always love thrash apple, so. That's a good flavor. Mm -hmm. But that one, probably the closest soda that has ever gotten. Like, the closest comparison to its Mountain Dew counterpart that we've ever had, I think. Like, what do you mean? Like, like it tastes oh, the, the okay. most similar to its Mountain Dew counterpart. Okay, yeah. And it does a good job with it, too. A lot of, like, you know, like our knockoff Mountain Dew videos, stuff like that. They never really quite get there. But that one, they're very close. And in a blind taste test, I feel like it'd be pretty difficult to distinguish. And just remember, this is limited edition. So you might want to go get it now. Anyways, any other remarks? Thrash Apple's better. <laughs> I mean, I can't argue with you on that. Just remember, Thrash Apple is here to stay, which is a blessing. Um, can't say that for every exclusive flavor. Like Mountain Dew's Uproar, That's I guess it's probably phasing out at this point. It just wasn't all there, though. I enjoyed it. I thought it tasted like Capri Sun. I didn't think it was bad, but it just it didn't pop for me. But hey, maybe that means Food Line will get their own new exclusive. That's different if Uproar's on the way out. And I, I feel like, well, I don't know. I feel like a lot of these exclusives are more like, okay, Mountain Dew's trying to test and figure out if it's feasible to put it out nationwide. Somehow Spark got the confidence from Mountain Dew to say, hey, this is good enough to 
donation line. But then again, somehow, Flamin' Hot got that green check mark, and I was like, that green light, and I, I, I would rather you put birthday cake out there. I like birthday cake. But I don't know. I don't know what makes Mountain Dew decide what they decide, but they decided that, and, well, that's something to keep your eye out on. But as in terms of green apple, you got this other than Mountain Dew. That's right. So, well, what were you going to say? I thought you were going to say something. No, yeah. not really. Okay. <laughs> well, we had a couple more reviews to do, so uh, we'll let y'all go, and uh, we will see y'all around. Yeah.